Hi, how's everybody doing? I'm Chris. I am half of the Ginger Marvin team. We are a husband and wife reselling team. That is what we do for a living. We buy things used at garage sales, thrift stores, uh, etc., estate sales, and we flip them for profit. We sell them on platforms such as eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, and Kitizen. And I have about 45 pairs of shoes here, and I'm going to take you through the process that we go through to get our shoes ready to resell. All right, so normally I'm not standing here at the sink like I am right now. You can kind of see I have a camera above. But the first step I like to do is go through and get all of the numbers off of the bottom of shoes and um, just make sure that they're ready for the next step. So one of the things I like to use for that is um, Goof Off. I'll show you there, Goof Off. My can is almost empty here, but I do have a brand new can to go, ready to go. And another thing we use with the Goof Off is these little cotton pads. We normally get the round ones, but I got square ones this time. I like the round ones a little more, just personal preference, but I guess it doesn't really matter. We've been using these for a while. Um, with Goof Off, you do have to be careful. Um, Goof Off is extremely abrasive. Um, it can melt a lot of uh, things as you can see here asphalt and tar it will remove those so it's pretty pretty abrasive um, But I use it enough. I know it's perfectly fine to use on like converse shoes here um, So I'll just kind of go through you can kind of see the numbers there. I just go like that and it is gone So I'm just gonna go through and um, Get any of these shoes this has something kind of sticky on there. So this is perfectly safe for Crocs and stuff. It does really good on cleaning like these toes. Um, let's kind of see how quick that comes off. Um, but typically with, with this kind of material, like Crocs, or I think these are um, like Old Navy's version of Natives, which is a version of Crocs, kind of. Um, but what we like to do with these is we'll toss these in the wash machine with a load of towels and it kind of gets them really clean and nice and really easy to do that way. Oops. And every once in a while I like to put a little bit more just to keep it nice and wet. It is a it is a solvent and solvents evaporate very quickly compared to like water. Um, so you can kind of see on here. I've never actually cleaned all bird. These are all birds. I've never actually cleaned the soles, but I'm pretty sure this is going to be just fine and get it off really quickly. Um, now you could probably go through and do the whole sole if you wanted to uh, get it all to match. Um, we don't really. I'll probably do that with a magic eraser. Um, just it should be just fine that way. So anyway, that got the marker off, and this one here. All right. Here's a shoe. These are Keds. This rubber is actually. Um, should be just fine with the goof off. And when you have like a lot of texture on here, I like to kind of get my thumbnail or like my fingernail and really press that into there to get down into there, into the texture and remove as much of it as we can. So this, this pad is pretty much dirty. I don't want to be cleaning um, shoes with a dirty pad here. Um, I think it's important to let these dry out before you toss them in a trash can. Um, they might melt your trash bag or um, they could spontaneously combust if, if you get enough of them piled up together. Um, so it's just something I've always done with solvents, any kind of rags you use, just lay them out and let them dry out before you throw them away. Actually, you can kind of see black did come off when I wipe it, so that does 
actually tell me that it is removing some of the surface there. Um, so if that's the case, that's a good indicator that you maybe don't want to be on there too long. Um, I don't think it's going to be a problem here, but just so you know. And we are pretty fortunate where we live. They typically use these silver Sharpies, and these, I've found, have come off, uh, come off a lot easier than the black Sharpies. I feel like the black Sharpies kind of um, sink in and get into the material a lot deeper than these silver ones. So um, anytime it has silver, we're pretty sure we're able to get the silver off. All right, so in this case, these uh, Sinooks, these Sinook uh, shoes, you can see on my on my pad here, a little bit of the brown did come off, so it did kind of soften the material there. Um, so I don't want to spend too much time on there, but it's in a spot your toes and your heels kind of wear, so I don't think it's going to be a problem, but the number is gone. So. Alright, so we've got them all separated. We've got about half of them that we're just going to go ahead and run up and get ready to photograph. Um, but we do have a couple more that do need some more attention. Alright, so we have about 14 pairs now that we're going to uh, scrub the sides a little bit just to clean them up. And then there's a handful of them that we're just going to toss in the laundry machine with some towels and that generally cleans them up. I'll show you a picture of those here. So you can kind of see what we do in that case. So what we like to use to clean the edges of shoes is just magic erasers. Um, they do pretty good at that. So you do need to get a, a little wet and then just scrub and you can kind of see that dirt go right away. So I'm just going to sit here and scrub these what well, was it, 14 pairs of shoes, and I'll get right back at you. It's very easy, you just kind of, anywhere it's dirty, you just kind of scrub it. Um, and then I do like to take a, a disposable towel, or one that you don't use any food with or anything like that, and then just dry them up, get all that debris off, and I might actually scrub that one a little bit more. One thing I might do is put in my strainer here just to catch any of those big chunks of sponge that falls off. I don't know if they'll cause any damage to your drains or anything like that, but you know, if you could prevent it, you might as well. So. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and call that one good, except for right here. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go ahead and call this one good, and we'll get the pair finished up, and we'll finish up the rest of these. Pretty straightforward process from this point. Generally, we don't do a whole lot to the bottoms of the shoes. Um, these ones are actually in really good shape. Um, if there was like rocks or something that I could easily pick out, I'd use like a toothpick or like a safety pin, paper clip, pick them out uh, real quick. Uh, but yeah, pretty straightforward from here on out. These are ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and add them to the bin to go upstairs.
and kind of compare what they looked like before. So we're not going for perfect, we're just going for um, just a little bit better. So obviously there's going to be a point where um, you could spend too much time cleaning the shoes and it's not really worth it. Um, I think that's something you just learn, you know, you'll start to realize maybe I'm spending a little bit too much time on this and it's not going to get me that much money back anyway. So it is what it is. Um, people still buy things as long as you disclose and photograph very well so they're, they can see what they're buying. Um, so yeah, these actually don't need a whole lot, but I'm just going to quickly clean up the sides here. So definitely be a little bit careful with the magic erasers. They are abrasive. They will kind of um, remove some things like, I don't think I removed that there. Um, but I'm sure if I scrubbed right here long enough, it would eventually take that all off. Um, so just use caution. It can still, uh, I definitely wouldn't wash your car with one of these. It would probably scratch the paint. So on these, I really don't think it's going to be worth my time getting down in each one of these little grooves. It's very textured on these. Um, that would take me a long time. I don't, I don't think it's going to be worth my time to do that. So I'm just quickly doing what I can reach easily. All right, so I have about, I don't know, six, seven more pairs. I'm going to go ahead and cut it. I think you guys get the point on how to uh, just use a magic eraser and clean up the edges of the shoes. Um, but then I'll be right back with our next step. All right, so that takes care of the, a good majority of the shoes. Uh, we have about five pairs that we uh, still need to do a little bit more on. Um, one of these, one of them is these fry boots. Um, and the leather's a little bit, um, Scuffed, I don't know if you'd say scuffed, but what we're gonna do is use some of this uh, Dr. Martin's Wonder Balsam. Uh, this stuff is pretty good. It conditions the leather, lasts a really long time. We've had this for quite a while. Um, although we don't use it a whole lot because we try to, um, we try to source shoes that don't need a lot of work. This, So these 45 pairs of shoes, um, they weren't all from one trip. These are, we kind of pile things up until we have enough to batch them out. We don't like to set up and do this every day. We, uh, we try to knock them out. Um, if I wasn't recording, this probably would have taken, um, I don't know, maybe an hour and a half, two hours in total, maybe not even that much. Um, but with setting up cameras and stuff, it has taken a little bit longer. We also had to record our uh, sales, our what sold for the day. And so, anyway, um, I'm just gonna, it comes with this applicator and you just kinda scoop in a little bit and then just rub it on. So it just really helps condition and bring that leather back to life. And yeah, it's pretty, pretty simple. Just probably need to reapply here, get a little bit more, and then go back and really get in those crevices and all that and get it all over, buff it in. And then I'll, I'll, do, a, I'll do this real quick and then I'll show you a side by side so you can kind of compare. So as I was applying some Dr. Martens, I noticed, you can kind of see here, a little tear. I don't know if Kathy noticed that when she purchased. So I'm going to go ahead and take a picture and show her, um, just so we don't forget to disclose that in the listing. 
Um, it's not a huge thing, but this is a bootstrap. That's where people pull on their boots. And uh, it looks like it's definitely had some use. So we just want to disclose any um, problems that come up or that we know about. All right, so I've got this boot finished up. So we're just gonna go ahead and hold it side by side so you can kind of see the difference. Um, we'll do overhead here. So it really brought that leather back to life, helped unify the color a little bit more and it makes it more pliable and all that, so it'll be more comfortable. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do the other one. All right, that side's done. Let's see. So, looks like a nice pair of boots. Uh, all right, so, and that is the Dr. Martin's Wonder Balsam. Kind of see here. I don't know if that's how you say it. Um, I would think it would be like a Wonder Balm, but the S is in a weird spot where it doesn't seem like it's silent, so I don't know. Alright guys, that is going to do it for our video today. Hopefully um, you guys can see it's, it's really not that hard to get shoes clean. We like to try to do as little as possible and try to get the most bang for our buck time-wise. Um, so we don't actually source a lot of shoes that need cleaning. Um, like I said a little bit earlier, these shoes were all from various uh, sourcing trips. So we like to pile them up and get, uh, this was a little bit bigger of a pile than I like to do. Um, I like to do about an hour's worth of cleaning at a time. So we probably pile up about, about 20, 30 pairs of shoes before I start batching them out like this. Um, and that's, that's just what we like to do. Our secret for cleaning shoes is batching them out. Try to uh, gather as many pairs as you can and do it all at once. You really save your time doing it that way. Um, but the biggest time saver is purchasing shoes that don't need any work at all. Um, as you saw in the beginning, we probably had, what was it, uh, a good half of the shoes, maybe a little more, that was only removing the paint on the bottom or the Sharpie on the bottom. Um, and that's all we had to do, and that made life easy. We try to do that with every pair we can. Uh, if something's in bad shape or is not worth cleaning, we're not going to buy it to sell. All right, so I did forget to mention, we did set aside about six or seven, maybe a few more pairs of shoes that we're gonna go ahead and throw in the laundry machine with uh, a bunch of towels. And that's gonna be how we get those cleaned. And those will be ready to go as soon as they come out of the wash. Don't dry them though. We, uh, we learned a long time ago that Crocs or those kinds of materials, if you heat them up, they will shrink. So don't put them in the dryer, let them air dry. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and call it a day. The kids are getting rowdy. It's dinner time. I'm going to make some dinner. Um, but as you can see, not a whole lot going on when we clean our shoes. Uh, we try to keep things as simple as possible uh, so that we can really batch things out and get it done as fast as possible. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. Do leave a comment if you think I did something wrong or if you have a better way of doing it. We are always trying to learn the best way and better ways to do things. So if you have a faster, more effective way of cleaning, please let us know in the comments below. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys learned something. Do hit that subscribe button. If you haven't subscribed yet, we do have more how-to videos like this coming down the line in the future. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for today. We'll see you in the next one.